Hello everyone, welcome to our first tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how we can use this Mendeley software in citing a reference in MS Word. The four things which you are going to study in our first tutorial are that why do we need Mendeley, how to download this Mendeley, how we can upload files in Mendeley, and the most important thing how we can cite in MS Word using this Mendeley. So let's begin. In the first part is that why do we need Mendeley? So if we see any research paper, what we can see is that we need actual references while writing any article or any journal. Now the number of references might vary. Out here we can see around 43 references, but once we go to from review papers or write any thesis, we can see the number of references might rise above 100. What the problem occurs is that we need to actually format each and every references. But once it exceeds 100 or becomes more than that, it becomes quite difficult to actually minutely observe each and every reference and format it. And that's why Mendeley is very much required in our case. The next thing is how to download this Mendeley. For downloading Mendeley, you just need to go to Google and just write this Mendeley desktop okay it is coming here Mendeley desktop and here the first option download Mendeley desktop if you go here what you can observe is that it gives an uh, option for downloading this Mendeley desktop for Windows and others are also there for Mac and Linux but currently I am using Windows so I have downloaded from here so once you click here your download will begin automatically I previously downloaded this and so once you open this Mendeley desktop after downloading it looks something like this. We have to actually put a login ID and password in order to just register in this Mendeley desktop and it's completely free. Fine. So this is the way in which we can actually download our Mendeley desktop. Now we want to see how we can use this Mendeley desktop in citing a particular reference. Out here in this Mendeley desktop there are various options. And here are various folders which I have created, but for this tutorial purpose, I have created a folder named as tutorial. One important thing we have to remember is that while citing a particular reference through Mendeley, we actually need to save the or download the paper and keep it in a particular folder. Suppose I want to cite this paper, okay, for that I need to actually download this paper and keep it in a particular folder. Now we actually need to drag this paper into the Mendeley folder. Once I drag this paper, what I can see is that it shows the author name, the title, the year of publication and the paper details. Okay. And here in this column also, it shows all the details about this paper, like the volume, the issue and the page number. It seems quite interesting. Now, another way of importing the paper is that using this add option. So out here, once you click this add, I can actually add files and go to the particular folder. And suppose I need to add this paper, so I click this paper, click open and here we again can see I can actually access this file also through this add option. Now instead of you know, importing each and every paper, suppose you have a folder in which there are at least um, 10 to 15 papers. In that case what you can do is that you can click this add, you can click this drop down menu from this drop down menu you can click this add folder. You can go to a particular folder okay and then click ok what happens is that once you click ok all the papers or all the articles in that folder will be imported in this particular Mendeley desktop so here we can see how we can actually import the articles and keep it in Mendeley desktop so one important thing is that once you have kept all these papers in this uh, Mendeley desktop you can access it from anywhere after logging in it suppose Suppose you have this Mendeley desktop in your lab, lab computer and you have all the PDF files in your lab computer but you have to access this Mendeley desktop from your room where you have this laptop and suppose you don't have the PDF files in your laptop so it won't be a problem because once you have uploaded those papers in this Mendeley desktop it stores it there and you can access it from wherever you want so it's quite an advantage. And it here also shows the paper okay so once you click here this pdf file here you can also read the pdf file fine so it seems quite interesting the next thing how we can actually cite these articles 
this papers in our article writing for citing a particular reference in an article we first need to open this word suppose we are preparing this article okay and once we need to give the citations uh, first we have to go to references but here in references we don't see any such uh, options for mendeley now what we need to do we actually need to install the mendeley plugin so we have to first close this word file go to this mendeley in the tools part here what we can see install ms word plugin so from mendeley we can actually install the ms word plugin we need to click here so it shows that plugin is installed sometimes what happens is that uh, once your ms word is open it will uh, ask you to close this ms word and after that this plugin will be installed so click okay again let's check whether our plugin is installed or not so we click this ms word is open here and uh, let's go to references and here what we can see is that here this reference part has changed a bit and here we can see the options for mendeley has appeared now what we need to do is that we need to actually use these options in citing a particular reference for that we need to actually click this insert citation suppose we need to insert a reference after this statement okay after this uh, sentence we need to insert a reference and the reference we need to insert is suppose this one okay this pegylated nanoparticles etc for that what we need to do is that we need to click this insert citation option okay once you click this insert citation option we need to go to go to this mendeley okay and once we click this go to mendeley we can scroll through all the folders or click the particular folder suppose this folder tutorial folder and this paper we need to cite so once we click this paper okay we can see it is highlighted and then we can find an option called cite okay we need to click this one here we can see cite we need to click this site and once we click this site what we can see is that after formatting citation it gives a number called 1 okay and suppose we actually need to cite another paper after this statement okay phd thesis we need to cite another paper so again in the similar fashion we can go to insert citation we can go to mendeley suppose we need to cite another paper not from this folder suppose from another folder okay so here we can go to another folder we can scroll through any paper suppose uh, this paper we want to cite or rather this paper so what we can do is that let's see some recent paper here okay so here we can click this paper and then we can again cite so here we can see the two appears now we have cited these two papers but we actually can't see the reference name so for that actually what we need to do is that suppose you are writing an article and you are going to give the citations uh, while writing this article and make sure that you make a separate uh, part for reference okay so in this part what you can do is that once you click this uh, once you make this reference part you can go to insert bibliography here it is showing insert bibliography click this insert bibliography and there and you can see the two citations have appeared so here you can see all the author's name okay the title of the paper name of this uh, this paper year volume issue page number and even the doi now one thing you can question is that defined papers are defined format so i don't need this format i need a some defined format okay so how can you change this format and style for changing a particular style what we need to do is that we need to go to this style option known as uh, this or format option here it is shown here acs catalysis but various options or various type of styles are given out here suppose we need to uh, cite this in sort of nature okay so we once we click this nature here we can see uh, it shows the author name in, uh, in some in this way and gives a title and etc so interesting what you can see here is that instead of manually changing all these references once you click a particular journal name okay once you select a particular journal it automatically 
actually formats itself in that particular journal reference format okay so out of this list of citations suppose i need a, uh, the paper i need to cite pay, uh, my i need actually the citation style for jpcb okay so what we can do is that we can't actually find this jpcb out here so we can go to more styles once we click this more style we can see another citation style bar appears here there are various options like install get more styles etc in this get more style what we want to do is that we want to select the citation style we actually need to put in our article but before that we can actually go to installed and see whether this jpcb is installed or not so we can see nothing in j is installed out here so jpcb what we can do is the journal of physical chemistry here once we write journal of physical chemistry it appears journal of physical chemistry a b so journal of physical chemistry b so we click this journal of chemical physics uh, chem uh, physical chemistry b click install and here we can see in this faint watermark installed is being shown and again once we go to this installed part and once we scroll here here we can see jpcb appears so the journal of physical chemistry we use this use this style we click here okay use this style click here it is selected and then click done and once you click here again you can see it appears in jpcb style so it's quite interesting that once you actually change the format of your reference once you need to change the format you can actually select the particular style in which you can change you need to actually write your article and similarly you can change the format so this was all for the first tutorial in the first part of mendeley tutorial we saw why we need this mendeley and how to download this mendeley software how we can actually upload files in mendeley and how we can use this mendeley software in citing a particular reference in ms word in our next tutorial on mendeley we are going to see how we can merge multiple citations in mendeley how we can insert edit or delete a particular citation while writing an article in mendeley and can we actually use references without importing a particular pdf file so how can we import references without downloading pdf files we are going to see in the next part of this mendeley tutorial so thank you very much for watching this video we'll meet you once again in our next tutorial